Welcome to our video tutorial on building an ESP32 based biometric door lock system using the R307 fingerprint sensor and Blink IoT platform. In this video, we will guide you through the entire process of setting up the hardware, programming the ESP32, and configuring the Blink Wave dashboard. So let's get started. System Overview First, let's understand how this system works. The ESP32, along with the R307 fingerprint sensor, acts as the main controller for the door lock system. The system allows authorized users to unlock the door using their fingerprints. Once a fingerprint is scanned, the ESP32 verifies it with the stored fingerprints in its memory. If the fingerprint matches, the ESP32 triggers the solenoid door lock, granting access to the user. Hardware Requirements To build this system, you will need the following hardware components. ESP32 Development Board R307 Fingerprint Sensor Module 0.96 inch OLED display. A buzzer or a red LED for indicator purposes. 5 volt relay module. Solenoid door lock. Bleed board and jumper wires. Hardware connection. Now let's connect all the components. You can find the detailed circuit diagram and connection instructions on our website. Or you can refer to the link provided in the video description. To avoid messy wiring and give a clean look to the project. You can also order a custom PCB from PCBWay.com. We have already designed a custom PCB for this project. And you can download and upload the cover file to their website. Setting up Blink Wave Dashboard. Let's configure the Blink Wave Dashboard for our system. Start by creating a new template in the Blink app. Add the required widgets and customize their properties according to your needs. Once you are done, add the device to the Blink app using the template. Make sure to copy the Blink authentication token for later use. Now let's take a look at the program code. Open the Arduino IDE or your preferred IDE and paste the authentication token in the code. Don't forget to replace the placeholders with your Wi-Fi credentials. Make sure to install all the required libraries as well. Once everything is set up, upload the program code to the ESP32 selecting the correct COM port. Demo and testing. After a successful upload, open the serial monitor at a board rate of 57600. This will allow you to monitor the system's output and debug any issues. Now it's time to test the system. If you don't know how to enroll the fingerprint, then watch my previous video about R307 fingerprint sensor. Now, try placing your register fingerprint on the sensor and observe the results. 
If the fingerprint is authorized, you will see the successful fingerprint verification and relay turns on to unlock the solenoid door lock, indicating a successful unlock on the OLED display. If your fingerprint doesn't match, then the system will notify you through LED or buzzer as well as from OLED display. You can also monitor your door lock remotely from anywhere in the world using Blink IoT mobile app as well as Blink web dashboard. You can always customize the project according to your needs and requirements. Congratulations, you have successfully built your own ESP32 based biometric door lock system using the R307 fingerprint sensor and Blink IoT platform. This project offers an enhanced level of security and convenience for accessing your door. Feel free to customize and expand upon the system to suit your specific requirements. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects.